the 2 p.m. is Anushka Sharma who has blasted reports by claiming that Virat Kohli has co-produced a second production, Fillory, saying that the movie is made under her banner, Clean Slate Films. Putting to rest some rumors that have been doing the rounds for some days now, Anushka said, and I quote, Fillory is produced by Fox Star Studios and Clean Slate Productions. So those TV channels and newspapers or websites that are claiming anything else, please check facts, practice responsible journalism, and have some shame here. So once again, Anushka Sharma is fighting the inherent sexism in our nation, especially vis-a-vis a -vis relationship with top cricketer Virat Kohli, and has said, and has categorically dismissed reports that her boyfriend Virat Kohli is one of the re is one of the financials for our next upcoming release, a film which has been produced by her. Let's go across to our colleague Urvashi, who's joining us at this point live from Mumbai. Urvashi, once again, we find Anushka Sharma to be at the receiving end of a number of sexist trolls on social media, as well as irresponsible journalists. Once again, have no better business but to continuously bring in her personal affairs and her relationships into her official life as well. Yes, absolutely. And this time, Anushka Sharma has not remained to be silent. And in fact, she also uh, talks about that in her, uh, you know, one of the social media posts that she has come out with. She says that every time I remain silent on lots of many untruthful stories that come out, but there is no accountability for whatever one, uh, you know, writes uh, about uh, you know, some of the stories like the, uh, this. Uh, and she has always remained or chosen to be silent. But then her silence is not her, is, uh, is not her weakness, is what she says. She adds on to that and she gives clarity on how her new film and new project that she's coming out with, it's her own, uh, you know, prediction or rather her own uh, company that is backing, not only that, adding on to that, it's Foxstar and it's not Virat Kohli or his, uh, uh, his uh, alleged boyfriend. Uh, so somewhere uh, she has come out uh, telling that. And when we, music had words with a lot of many women activists out there, even they come out and say that this particular patriarchy, uh, you know, understanding or patriarchy talks that just pass on between individuals, uh, the mindset that is still existing in society is certainly not uh, that good. Uh, and this mindset should come to an end. And even a woman or even lady with a dignified manner can come out and finance anyone that she has to and she can finance herself, her own self as well. So somewhere, uh, uh, you know, she has blasted on all those people and uh, putting an end to such mindset is a kind of, uh, we can say, move that she has come out with. Indeed, Urvashi, and why, it remains to be seen again as to why uh, India, our society cannot accept a woman's success for her own, whether it's producing films, whether it's be starring in blockbusters, it's the inherent mentality is that behind a successful woman, there has to be a successful man as well. Yes, absolutely. The quote, as it goes, like uh, you know, uh, it is uh, it is somewhere uh, seems to be a more uh, different chunk in the mindset of people, especially uh, in our country, where we see uh, that how every time a lady uh, speaks about a lady's success is also accounted with some or other uh, male individual that is associated with her. She, in fact, Anushka Sharma, in her post, has said that she has uh, you know lived her life dignified, and in fact, her a uh, hard work that she has put on uh, for so many years is now uh, put into question mark just because of uh, someone's mindset out there written in words. And uh, Anushka Sharma has to tell them and to be accountable for what they have written, one. And second, also, it's her dignified life and it's her career and it's her own success. She has put in the efforts. She has done this hard work and she has, uh, you know, come out with this one of the uh, very known and one of the very famous uh, Bollywood actress with such successful career uh, is what she says. So uh, somewhere this whole uh, mindset that we see in individuals in our society that a lady can't go ahead and live her successful life or if she is okay. living successful life there might be surely some other male individual associated with her should be uh, you know stopping by now in this century where we are living in and in such uh, you know outward manner where narrow mind uh, I mean, narrow minds uh, should be asked to shut down and in fact all such people and individuals should be now shown doors uh, you know uh, rather than accepting them or welcoming them or even uh, we can say uh, talking about them.
Urushi, stay on with us. We are also inviting our viewers to call in on the number you can see flashing at the bottom right of your screen, 0120-436-9674, and give us your views and also uh, stand with Anushka along with the rest of us. Meanwhile, we also spoke to prominent voices from the industry, uh, starting with trade analyst Komal Natha. Let's listen in to her views on it. I don't think she needs to prove to the world or to anybody else. She has proven it once and now it's just carrying forward that banner. Plus she has a brother uh, who is a fantastic worker, I believe. He's very good at his job. So I don't think she needs any third person to help her produce a film. She's got a goodwill. She's got a fantastic reputation. Uh, in fact, Kree Arjun Entertainment, which is uh, another production company which has produced Rustam, they mm -hmm. have tied up with Anushka Sharma. Now, obviously, they have gone with Anushka. They have gone with Kree Clear Films because of Anushka Sharma, not because of anybody else. Let's go across now to my colleague Divya Babar, who is also joining us from Newsroom. Divya, this is not the first time Anushka has been at the receiving end of this inherent sexism, not just within those who cover Bollywood, but across uh, social media in general. Yeah, she's been blamed in the past for her uh, boyfriend's, uh, or at least her uh, significant other's failures in the cricket pitch as well. It seems for some reason uh, she's responsible for Virat Kohli's failures, while Virat Kohli is responsible for her successes. Absolutely not. She is not at all to be blamed. And the question is, the question still remains that why? Why are there people out there who think and they have this presumption that there has to be a man behind a woman to be successful? Why is there this question that still prevails in our society? That is the big question. And Anushka Sharma, being the brave woman that she is, she clarified, she bashed all these rumors that Virat Kohli is not producing my film. She's capable of producing and promoting her film herself. She's been in the industry for very long. She's been for around eight, nine years in the, in the industry. And she's also had a very successful track record as a producer as well. Uh, two years back, she had produced the film NH10, which got a lot of critical acclaim for her performance as well. So there's no reason essentially to doubt Anushka Sharma's capabilities as an actress, as a film producer, as a veteran of the industry right now. Exactly. You're exactly saying the right things. And Clean Slate Films, as you said, NH21, it was a hit. People acclaimed it. People were praising her her work, her production skills. Everything was being praised. But I, why has been this erased again? Why are people talking about this all again? Uh, the incident that occurred in December when Virat Kohli came out and talked about that he's not in, uh, being engaged to Anushka. Okay. That was another rumors which were revolving this couple. So they have been in the news for a very long time and people pick out small, small things and make rumors on whatever they Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Divya, stay on with us. Vinda Adike, social activist, also joins us on the phone line. Ms. Adike, contrary to the maxim that behind a successful man there is a successful woman, it seems Indian society can't digest the fact that behind a successful woman, it's not necessary that there has to be a man as well. Absolutely. There is no reason for these people to continue to undermine women, their capabilities, their accomplishments, and their intelligence. Why would they always want to have the woman's capabilities, accomplishments, and achievements tied down to a man is something I'm always flabbergasted with. And spreading rumors. She's a professional. She's an actor. And if she has decided that she wants to direct a film, produce a film, do whatever, it is her own might. It is her own strength. Why would they want to say that somebody else is doing it, but they are putting her uh, uh, her name? I think we Indians need to move out of this thinking, this sexist nature that women cannot do anything, that there should always be a man there. I think the time has come for all of us to recognize that women are strong, independent, intelligent, and capable people. They've always been, and it is time now to recognize that and give the due. There is no need for them to beat around the bush. Mr. Dee, I'll come back to you. We also have one of our call of viewers joining us on the phone line from Hyderabad. Uh, if you could please go ahead and identify yourself and go ahead with your view. Yeah, I'm Prabhakar from Hyderabad. Go ahead. Uh, now that she said uh, she is professional and etc., why not she publish all our finances so that we can, it will be clear? But it's not why necessary. Do you ask for the finances no, no, of no, no, every why, producer why for every film, somebody, Mr. Prabhakar? You know, why, why respond to some, some sexist remark and try to get publicity out of it? 
No, but there are I'll there are claims that. jobbing. Okay, I'll, why, I'll let Miss Virinda Adigar answer that. Miss Adigar, I heard. I hope you heard what that caller said. Uh, would you like to respond to that? Is it important that when a woman is directing or producing a film, she has to show her finance, whereas you will not, you would not have asked of this of any other man. You would not have asked of this. By asking this, you are casting aspersions. Her finance, she could have got her finance from anywhere simply because she's Anushka Sharma. And it is not that it is her first film or second film. She has earned much more from whatever films that she has acted in. But to take up a new activity or take up a new program and a new production, you require additional money. And she would have got that finance from wherever on her own might. And it's Why not the it first time she's. It's not the produce. first time she's uh, produced a film as well. She has already produced quite a successful, critically and commercially acclaimed film as well in the past. Brinda Adige, is it also an insecurity which stems from the fact that we have seen uh, gradually a much welcome change coming out in the Indian film industry, where we have seen more women-oriented roles coming up, more roles in which more actresses have actually outshone their male compar compatriots, more voices are coming in for a more equal pay between male and female actors and now women also foraging into, uh, into uh, endeavors or at least areas of filmmaking which have traditionally been male bastions such as production of films. Is that a uh, deep-rooted insecurity which stems out from the fact that we cannot accept or at least Bollywood can't accept women producers? I personally think and I agree with you that Bollywood and the so-called main bastion and male domain does not want to accept that this woman may be equal, probably better than her male companions who are doing this similar kind of work. This whole thing stems from an insecurity to share that space, to share whether it is the profit or it is the name. They are not ready to share that space with a woman. Because we have seen time and again that women are now coming on to every sphere, every sphere of business, every sphere of profession, and accomplishing much more than what men have been doing. And this fear, this insecurity is what is making all of them ask silly questions, which they would never ever ask of another man, no matter what he is, where he is from, or what he is doing. Why would you want to cast your doubt and aspersions on a woman. She is as much a professional and a businesswoman. And this should be respected. Absolutely. Vrinda Adiga, thank you so much for joining us with your views. Let's also listen into what Awad Singh told us earlier while speaking on this issue. She's a successful actor. She has her money. And definitely the male ego has taken a beating because they cannot digest the fact that women on their own are making it to successful careers and also property. As on date, if you see all across the world, only 1% property has been being owned by women because this shows the mindset that ultimately finances are in the hands of the men. And it is these men who cannot digest that a woman can do it on her own. Divya, coming to you again, looking at the more specific focus over the sexism which is prevalent in Bollywood, this entire controversy comes at a time when there is a m rising clamor for more parity in the salaries of male actors and female actresses here. Uh, and there is also, at the same time, a more uh, clamor for more female producers, more women who are in charge of producing and financing their own films here. Somehow, it seems, as Vrinda Adiga was pointing out, there is this insecurity which stems from the male powers, which stems from the male powers that be in Bollywood that a woman is not independently capable of earning enough and earning or due right in Bollywood and perhaps using that money to make more films in Bollywood and further her career. Well, the perception that our society prevails with is that the society is a male-dominating world, but which is wrong. And the women, the powerful women of Bollywood and all across the country are trying to degrade it, are trying to banish this this agenda that the people have, the male ego, which they come up with. And rightly said, as you just said, that there is this uh, diversity and there is this problem between uh, the, pay, the pay scale between these actors. And not only that, the, when Sonu Sood decided to produce a film for the very first time, no one went ahead and asked him that where did he got his finances from. Absolutely. Absolutely. They were staying with us. Let's also go, uh, go back to Urvashi, who is joining us at this point. Urvashi, again, uh, 
commenting upon that inherent sexism which runs within Bollywood and uh, by extension in India. Uh, one often does not blame Virat Kohli for Anushka Sharma's uh, success uh, failures here, but one is quick to attribute the success of Anushka Sharma to Virat Kohli. And we have seen the reverse happen to Virat uh, to anu uh, when it comes to Virat Kohli as well. His failures on the cricket pitch are always attributed to Anushka Sharma by this bunch of trolls. It seems a uh, man is responsible for a woman's success, but a woman will be responsible for a man's failure. Yes, uh, absolutely. The way you have rightly pointed out, you know, that was a kind of time when, uh, when Virat was, uh, you know, not doing well in his cricket matches. People all came out with lots of many jokes, lots of many other quotes, etc., on Anushka Sharma and how she was uh, put, uh, you know, all blame was put on her because of her presence, or rather, she's the one who is diverting the concentration of Virat Kohli, etc. And now, when she's uh, coming out, she's mm. one of the finest actresses right now in Bollywood. Uh, you talk about, you know, she comes out in first five numbers uh, while uh, she is the one who is, uh, you know, uh, rather one as one particular person in panel pointed out that it's all about insecurity that in this male domination, uh, male dominated world that is inheriting in males or amongst males, which is making a female not to go ahead or rather while she is going up to pull her down with all that kind Absolutely. of domination or, uh, you know, all that kind of, uh, we can say, uh, talks and pressure that they are putting on her. So somewhere, uh, and in fact, Anushka Sharma in her own court has explained that in, uh, you know, one of the social media, that it's, it has come, it has, they have taken all her efforts, hard work, hard work, that she has put all this across. It's she who has acted well. It's she who has been appreciated by the audience, which, and that has made her, uh, you know, wear that particular crown that she is right now, in the shoes that, uh, where she is right now. And if uh, we talk about such kind of courts or such kind of reports that have come out all across, which makes her feel down, that that is certainly questionable. Absolutely. Uh, stay with us, Urvashi and uh, Divya. In fact, more updates coming in. Uh, Abbas Singh has spoken out once again. Let's listen in. with Anushka and we all oppose the sexist mindset of the misogynistic man who feels that without Virat Kohli's support, Anushka cannot buy a flat, Anushka cannot make a movie, Anushka is an epitome of success, she is an epitome of self-made woman who has conquered heights, who is a successful heroine and if after that the misogynistic mindset feels that it is Virat Kohli who is funding her uh, movie or funding her house. I think uh, this is the defeatist man who cannot stomach that a woman can be successful and financially stand out on her own feet.